I love you very much. And I wouldn't say that if I didn't. And I wouldn't have fallen in love with you if I didn't think you were really a sweet person and a nice person. And not that egotistical and full of yourself. I think that you're still trying to recoup from the feeling that people are after us. I got that. I feel it too. And I know people were after us. And yeah, there probably was a good chance that we would have been up on that block. But we've come a long way and we have done a lot of work. And today we did all, we spent fucking all day talking to people, spending the time, taking the time to guarantee that we're safe with these individual people. But when you go out there and make a move like that, every, I mean, it changes people's fucking opinions. And everything, everything changes in an instant, in the blink of an eye. So now I feel like I have to win HOH next week. Like I don't have a choice again. And we're back in the same boat. The only way that, that you're going like, to hopefully salvage this situation is by going and apologizing to the two people that you just challenged to fucking take us down. You know what it's like to be on that block. It's not fun. It's not nice. It's a shitty feeling. So is mad at, this, you were talking about wanting to keep Kristen. So rather than doing that, you fucking, I mean, you got to be nice to these people. They're human beings. I mean, you can't, you can't be like that to people, no matter how upset and angry you are. And you've had a plenty of time to get in control of your feelings. So nobody's going to play, let you get away with that card anymore. Yesterday, yeah. Everybody let you get away with your emotions. Because it was heated up. It was the heat of the moment. Now you've had time to pause, think about it. So when you went down and said that, everybody thought that that's what you meant. So you basically just flipped off everyone in the room and told them, like, fuck you. Bring it on. Let's go. Try to come for us. See what happens. I, 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 I have a lot of confidence in us, but I don't think we can take down the entire house. You're asking a lot of yourself and of me. And maybe it's possible, but... Odds are, are, odds are stacked a thousand times worse than they were before. And do you understand that this isn't a personal attack? It's not me trying to come down on you or put you in your place or control you. This is a, a serious concern for me. I mean, because now you're, I feel like you're playing with both of us. Because whatever you say, it represents me. So people are viewing us as the villain, us as the bad guy. Not you, but both of us. So when you do things like that, it's almost a little bit selfish because you're not thinking about both of us because you're gambling with both of us in this game. When you're fighting for us, you're fighting for both of us. And when you're, when you're saying stuff, you're saying stuff for both of us. So it's like you got to be cognizant of that, and so do I. You know? I've had to learn a lot along my along this way, and I've learned a lot from you. But a lot of stuff you tell me, you sit there and do yourself, so you're not taking your own advice. You need to play smart. You said Reagan was playing too emotional. That's what you're doing right now. You're letting it control you. I don't want you to be upset with me. I don't want you to be mad at me for, for telling you this because I'm being honest and I told you I wouldn't lie to you. And if I didn't tell you this stuff right now, I would be lying to you because that's not only how I feel. I'm, I'm fucking super duper sensitive so I can read fucking feelings and emotions a million miles away. And what you just said made me feel shitty and I, you weren't talking to me. So I can only imagine how they feel. And you're better than that. You're so much better than that. I want to be with that girl. I want to be with the girl who is, can take the high road. And even when situations are, are pushing you and trying to push your buttons, you can overcome it and you can take the high road and be a better person. Because I, I believe in you. I think that you are that person. I know it's not easy. I know a lot of times when we're in this game and fucking somebody's squeezing our head with a vice, that all you want to do is scream at them. But guess what? People watch them squeezing your head in that vice. And they don't like that either. Perception is key in this game. 
If everyone sees you as a bad person, everyone, you will be labeled as a bad person, and you, it will stick all the way through this game. The stuff you said last night was, was pretty bad. It was borderline. And, I, I mean, it, I'm sure it rubbed some people the wrong way, but tonight, you put the nail in the coffin. The only way you're going to get out of this and possibly, possibly save us right now is by going down there and apologizing for what you just said. Because you let your emotion get, get the better of you, and if you can't admit that and suck up your ego right now and, and tell them that you're sorry for, for what you just said, everybody next week is going to be gunning for us. I have no doubt. And all those people that just said they're not going to put us up, will put us up. I have no doubt in my head. Because guess what? It's going to be a house vote. The house is going to want us out. Because we're fucking egotistical. We're ballsy. We think we're unstoppable. Who's not going to want to take us out? I mean, I'm not going to lie. If I was sitting there... And I heard all that, and I didn't go up. I'd be thinking back in my head, thank God I didn't go up. Guess what? Those people are going to be bigger targets next week. Seriously. I don't want to go out and then have you go out right after me. But that's going to happen if the situation stays the same right now, how it is. I'm telling you. So I may not have watched as many Big Brother seasons as you, but I know people. And I know when people take offense to what other people say. Everybody down there was heavily offended by what you just said. They got it. They got it, babe. I'm, I'm not saying this to be a jerk. I'm not saying this to be a dick. But you're playing like you got this fucking 50-pound weight on your shoulders. And it's supposed to be getting lighter, but it's getting heavier. And not because anyone else is adding weight. It's because you're stacking it on yourself. You don't need to do this to us. You really do not need to do this to us. I want to win. I do. And I want to win fair, but I also want to play smart. Right now, you're not playing smart. You're fighting harder. I got that. You fight, but there's a time when fighting smarter outweighs fighting harder. And right now, we need to play smart because we need to save our energy for down the road because it's probably going to get just as rough, if not worse. But if we have to fight with the same intensity that we have been fighting for the last four weeks, we're not going to make it. I'm telling you right now. And we're probably both not going to make it, not even one of us. I don't want you to be upset at me for saying this. I'm seriously, I, I don't. I really don't want you to be upset. I, you may be pissed off at me, you may be upset, you may be really angry with me, but I hope at least after you, I mean, you think about it, or what I've said, it, maybe it makes a little bit of sense, and maybe you understand, you know? And, and maybe we need to start making more decisions together. I understand you're the HOH, but if we're representing one another, maybe you should talk to me about stuff you're going to say or do. Because if, if, you, if I had known you were going to say that, I would have told you not to. I would have told you, just, and I thought you would have said something about letting the house vote and just, I mean, taking a back step and letting it be neutral and not forcing people to, in a position. You force everybody against us. And I, don't, I just don't get it. I don't understand why. Why you want them to come after us so bad? So you got something that we can prove that we're better than them and stronger than them and smarter and faster? I got that. But one slip up and we're done. That's all it's going to take. And it's not going to be you. It's going to be me. Maybe it's you. I don't know. I'm not trying to compete with you on who's going to go home first. I don't want to do that game, for sure. I want to be here with you. I, I don't want... I, now that we're, we're going to be in the juror house... I want to be here with you as long as humanly possible. Come on, I'm good. Brennan, stop it. I have to go to the dining room and get something out of there. Wait, no. I really do have to go down there. Oh, what? I have something down there I have to get. Are you are you upset at me? Please just let me go to get to. I really have to go down there and get stuff. 
Okay. Well, will you will you consider apologizing to them for what you said? Sure. Does that mean no? Should I just assume that's a no? I'm I'm asking you. Rachel. Fine, I'll apologize, Brennan. It's not like a personal thing. And what I said was like not personal. It's a total game thing. So cool. sorry you don't believe that. Right. Gotcha. Okay. 